Parliamentary debates have over the years been bogged down by ministers who most times are caught off guard when pertinent issues about their ministries are raised by MPs during the question and answer time. The speaker now says business regarding different ministries will be shelved unless the sector ministers clear their backlogs. And the Minister of Education is aware of this question. And it's very, very urgent. So I'm wondering, the time that I really uh, requesting, if this question will not be, will not be overtaken by the thing. So Madam Speaker, I would request that the Minister may answer on Tuesday. On Wednesday, when members have concerns here, especially matters of national importance, yeah. it's very rare that the ministers come in time. We have tried to talk up with that. Right Honorable Speaker, honestly speaking, is this government really in charge? No. How are we going to continue raising concerns that the front benches are comfortably occupied and they are not responding to our concerns? Can we possibly get a response from a leader of government business? I'm so surprised, Madam Speaker, that this kind of question has come on the order paper. The ministry still not to even be aware probably because if they were aware, they should have known that this this question should have come was coming on the order paper today. I think it's more more of you that uh, every week questions will be reflected on the order paper without notice. Because there are no questions. And I know that the government if we brought over the ministers and gave the copies, I think that to answer this question. The speaker now says a solution has to be found to curb the scenario that has seen most ministers keep parliamentary business or arrive late as questions continue to pile on their ministries. Uh, I think we shall now propose some sanctions. Because we are doing the work and we are going to agree the little that they expect. So, honorable members, now let us proceed. Let us proceed to the next step. So, next, honorable ministers of education, next week we want answers to all these questions. Recent days have seen a disconnect in cabinet with uncoordinated information pouring out to the public and the doctrine of collective responsibility, the bedrock of cabinet business going to the dogs. <laughs> Yesterday at Mpiji, Trade, Industry and Cooperatives Minister Amelia Chambali broke down in tears over the poor state of a school in Mpiji, an action criticized by those who think she should have taken the initiative to address the matter in cabinet instead of shedding tears in public. Sabit Joseph, Davis Television, Parliament.